Best Iconic Sneakers Under $100. Available on Amazon. Links below in description. 1982. Marked the beginning for the legendary Nike Air Force One. Engvall said they earned the nickname, Uptowns on basketball courts across New York City, and that they started the sneaker culture as we know it today, referencing continuous releases of new colorways decades later. 1982, the Freestyle, the first athletic shoe designed for women, was introduced. The shoe popularized the aerobic exercise movement, encouraged women to participate in sports and began the acceptance of athletic footwear as street and casual wear. In 1983, Reebok launched the classic leather, a running shoe. 1st started making an early basketball shoe in 1917, and redesigned it in 1922, when Chuck Taylor asked the company to create a better shoe with more support and flexibility. After Converse added Taylor's signature to the ankle patch they became known as Chuck Taylor All-Stars. Originally, it was released as a low-top tennis shoe in 1983. When 1992 came, it was reinterpreted and released as a high-top sneaker. The Fila F13 offers the right combination of comfort that can be enjoyed all day and the stylish look that can complement a variety of casual clothing. The shoe was first produced in 1949, to enable association football players to train on icy, hard ground, hence the suction design on the gumsel. Its original design featured the classic three stripes, as well as the gold trefoil on the foldable tongue. DC originally stood for Drawers Clothing, but since the sale of Drawers Clothing, which is now defunct, DC no longer has ties to Drawers and is simply DC Shoes. Skate High, not only shielded bones from skateboards catapulted at them but also brought a whole new look to the park. A new classic in the footsteps of the old school, the Skate High busted through the doors of the Anaheim, California, organization founded in 1966 as the Van Dorn Rubber Company. The New Balance 574, stands as the de facto baseline amongst the company's various retro runners and lifestyle silhouettes. The pair's lower price point has helped its ubiquity and mass appeal.
1971, Adidas Stan Smith was essentially a rebranding of the 1964 version of the shoe designed for Robert Halet. The 1971 remake featured the image of tennis star Stan Smith on the tongue, but with Halet's name, the tongue didn't say Stan Smith until 1977. Later versions of the shoe featured minor detail changes. In 1969, the Adidas Superstar made waves as the first low-cut, leather basketball sneaker, according to Semelhack. It also earned the nickname, Shell Toe because of the shape of the shoe's toe area. Available on Amazon, links below in description, follow Area 55.